Hi there, it's me. And look, I'm trying out lots of different patterns. This is my special plaid face. And these are stripes. Here are some zigzags. And this is a checkered pattern. See if you can think of some other patterns. <laughs> situation. Gee, Weenie, I don't think we'll be able to play in the park today. Hiya, Oswald! Oh, hi, Daisy. Wow, what is all this? My Aunt Mary Gold just sent me the recipe for her amazing super sticky honey bun. And here's everything we'll need. Oh, boy. Making a batch of super sticky honey buns is almost as much fun as going to the park, isn't it, Weenie? Ruff, ruff. Flour, butter, sugar. Looks like we're all set. And don't forget my favorite, a big jar of scrumptious honey. What do we do first? Hmm. Well, first of all, we need two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Coming right up. One, two. What's next? Next, we need one stick of butter. Only one stick? Are you sure? Yes, Daisy. Only one. One stick of butter. Next, we need... Two spoonfuls of sugar. Only two? Are you sure? How about four? No, Daisy. It definitely says two spoonfuls of sugar. One, two spoonfuls of sugar. And last, we have to add one drop of honey. <laughs> that can't be right. It should be at least two drops. One, Two... But, Daisy... Or maybe four drops. Three, four. But, Daisy... Or maybe I should put it all in. <gasps> but, Daisy, it said to use only one drop. I know. But I love honey. <laughs> and doesn't it smell super sweet? It smells great. But it's getting awfully sticky. Here, let me help. Oh my gosh! Now the spoon's stuck. Wowie kazowie, Oswald. You're right. Maybe if I mush it and squish it with my hands instead. No, Daisy. You're not supposed to put your hands in the dough because you might get stuck. Uh-oh. Do you think I used a little too much honey? Can you help me, Oswald? Okay. But I'd better make sure I don't get stuck, too. Oh. Hooray! Thanks, Oswald. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. 
Now you're stuck, too. <sighs> Maybe the cookbook will tell us how to get unstuck. Great idea. Oh, no. I can't even read it now. No, Weenie. You'd better steer clear or you'll get stuck, too. So now what should we do? I know. Let's go down to Henry's. Maybe he can help us. Okay, next step. This foot. Now that foot. Phew. We're finally there. Good morning, Oswald, Daisy, Weenie. Would you care for some cocoa? Actually, Henry, we need some help. See, we were making super sticky honey buns. And now we're really stuck. Would you please read this cookbook to see if there are directions for getting unstuck? Nonsense. I don't need any directions, Oswald. All I have to do is wipe this dough off. Careful, Henry. You might get stuck, too. <clears throat> oh, great Scott. Now we're really... Really? Stuck. Now what are we going to do? I know. Let's call someone and ask for help. Whoa! I have a better idea. Let's find someone who can read this cookbook. Maybe that way we'll get unstuck. <laughs> It's a sticky situation I just don't know what to do With this sticky situation This stuff is worse than glue Will we stay this way forever? Will we ever wiggle free? Oh, I'm sticky stuck to you and you're sticky stuck to me. It's gonna rain any second now. I sure hope we get unstuck soon. Egbert! Leo! Can you help us? Indeed we can, Oswald. Uh, what's wrong? Yes, yes, what? We were making super sticky honey buns, and now we're all really... Really? Stuck. Aha! How may we help? Yes, yes, how, old boy? Would you please read this cookbook to see how we can get unstuck? But be careful, or you'll get stuck too. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Began. Now we're really stuck. Stuck? Really? I know. What if you and Egbert pull one way, and Henry and Leo pull the other? You mean like a tug of war? Well, it's worth a try. On the count of three. One, one two, two, three! three. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Maybe we'd better just find someone who can read the directions. Come on, everybody. Watch out, Mr. Fly. Don't get too close or you'll get stuck too. Oswald and Henry. Oh, Daisy and... Oh, my goodness. Why are all of you stuck together like this? Well, Madam Butterfly, we put a whole jar of honey in our super sticky honey buns and now we're really... Really? 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 Back. Oh, my. 
You should only use one drop, you know. We know now. Would you please read this cookbook to see how we can get unstuck? Why, certainly, Oswald. But be careful, or you'll get stuck, too. Don't worry, Oswald. I'll be extra careful. <laughs> Katrina! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, dear! Now we're all really... Really? 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 Oh. Really? Stuck. Whoa! Whoa! We paper doll people like to stick together, but this is too much. Oh my gosh, this can't get any worse. Oswald, I think it's getting worse. Golly to Molly! This way! No, no, over here! Wait, everybody! Stay right where you are! Why? Uh -huh. But Oswald, we're getting all wet! Exactly! What? Huh? Hey! I'm not stuck anymore! Neither am I! And neither am I! Yay! <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Let's go dry off. Now I can finally check the directions for how to get unstuck. What does it say? It says, use plenty of water. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone, the rain is stopping. Hey, Oswald, let's go back and make some honey buns. This time, I promise to follow the directions. Daisy, I have a better idea. I just baked an extra big batch of super sticky honey buns at the diner. There's enough for everyone. Yes, that sounds like a better idea. You said it. Spring day, huh, Weenie? Mmm, what's that delicious smell? The tutti fruits must be ripe. Hi, Madam Butterfly. Hey there, Katrina. <laughs> Hello, Oswald. Hi, Weenie. Did you smell the tutti fruits in the air today? Yes. Isn't it wonderful? <sighs> and I have so many lovely recipes. Tutti frutti floats, tutti frutti souffle, and of course my specialty, tutti frutti pie. Oh. I just love your tutti frutti pie. It's my favorite dessert in the whole world. And I'd love to make it for you, Oswald. Really? But I can't pick tutti fruits today. I have to work here at the diner. Well, that's okay. I understand. Wait, what if Weenie and I pick the tutti fruits for you, Madam Butterfly? Well. That would be wonderful, Oswald. But are you sure it's no trouble? Not at all. We're always happy to help. <laughs> Can Katrina come with us? Of course. But no tutti fruits until after your supper. Tutti fruits are for dessert. <laughs> Don't worry, Madam Butterfly. No tutti fruit until after her supper. Now let me just get you some buckets to fill. Here's a big bucket for you, Oswald, and a little one for Weenie. 
see you soon. Goodbye, Oswald. Have fun, Katrina. Katrina, that mother bird is taking care of her babies, just like your mommy takes care of you. <laughs> Here we are. Wow. Look at all those big, ripe tutti fruits. Mm. Ah. <laughs> now you sit here, Katrina, and remember what your mommy said. Don't eat any tutti fruits, okay? Okay. Come on, Weenie. Let's fill these buckets. This one looks ripe, Weenie. Oh, and look at this big one. Oh, here's a beauty. That should be enough for a nice big tutti fruity pie. Hi, Daisy. Howdy, Oswald. Jiminy Skimminy! What's wrong with your horn, Daisy? I don't know. <laughs> no joking, it's broken. You know, this horn seems a little loose. You're right, Oswald. Could you hold it for me while I fix it? Sure, Daisy. Good as new. Thanks, Oswald. Always happy to help. What is it, girl? Oh, my gosh. Katrina! 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 Oh, Katrina! Now you sit here, Katrina. And remember what your mommy said. Don't eat any tutti fruits. Okay? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh! Well, we squished all our tutti fruits. Never mind. There's plenty more. Enough for a big tutti fruity pie. Uh -huh. Egbert! Leo! What happened to you? I was flying my kite one way, and I was flying mine the other, and we got all tied up. A nutty problem, you know. Maybe I can help untangle you. Would you, Oswald? Oh, most kind of you. Yes, yes, most appreciated, old boy. Weenie, can you help pull on this knot? <laughs> There you go. Ah, oh, many thanks, Oswald. Yes, yes, top notch untangling. Always happy to help. Ta ta. Cheerio. Oh, my gosh. Katrina. <laughs> Katrina! Oh, Katrina. Now you sit here, Katrina. And remember what your mommy said. Don't eat any tutti fruits, okay? Whoops. Again? 
That's okay. There still should be enough for a nice big pie. I hope. Henry! Oh my gosh! Are you all right? I'm all right, Oswald, but my newspaper has seen better days. I'll help you put it back together. <laughs> Here you go, Henry. Thanks, pal. You know how I hate a messy paper. I know, Henry. Always happy to help. Oh my gosh, where's Katrina? Whoa! Oh. Katrina! Oh, Katrina. Now I see what you're trying to do. You want to help this mother bird feed her babies. Here. Let me put it in the nest. Always happy to help. You're a good helper, Katrina. Would you like to help me pick some Tutti Fruits? Oh, no. The only Tutti Fruits left are way up high. We'll never reach them. Oh, my gosh. Thank you very much, Mother Bird. I never guessed I have to say that this would be a helping day. We help the twins and Daisy too, and Henry's paper's good as new. You help that bird without a fuss. Now look at this, she's helping us. We helped our best, so now we'll try a helping of Tutti Frutti. all deserve a big helping. My specialty, Tutti Fruity Pie. Hello there. <laughs> well, I won't need any help with this. It sure was nice of Daisy to bring us these tomatoes from her garden. Ruff, ruff. I just love a red, ripe, juicy, homegrown tomato. <sighs> Wait a minute. Why don't we plant our own tomato garden? Then we can pick tomatoes every day. Come on, girl. Ruff. Ruff. Hmm. Too much sun here, or too much shade there. Ah, yes. This would be a great place to plant a garden. Just enough shade, just enough sun. Come on, let's go buy a tomato plant. Hello, Binget. 
Hiya, Oswald. Hiya, Weenie. What can I do for you today? We want to plant a garden. A garden? Well, I know exactly what you should plant. Carrots. I grew these myself. Aren't they beauties? Oh, yes. But I really want to start a tomato garden. Or watermelons. Have you ever seen a better-looking watermelon than this, Oswald? Tell the truth. Uh, no. But I really want to start a tomato garden. Let's see. Say, this looks like a good tomato plant. Ah, that is a very special plant you're looking at there, Oswald. It grows one tomato every night. Well, one tomato is enough for you and me. Thanks for all your help, Binget. Just doing my job. Come on, girl. Let's go plant our tomato plant. <laughs> Okay, let's get to work. Planting tomatoes in the backyard. First dig a hole, it's not that hard. Cover with dirt from stem to root. That's how you get some tasty fruit. Pat it down good and firm and tight. Water it well, leave overnight. When the sun begins to shine, there's a ripe tomato on the vine. Ruff, ruff, ruff. There. All finished. Now let's go inside and let our tomato grow. Ruff. Good night, little tomato plant. Boy, it looks delicious. I can't wait to bite into this red, ripe, juicy... Oh, my gosh. Somebody ate half of our tomato. But who? Look, Weenie. Those two snails are eating our tomato. Well, they must like red, ripe, juicy tomatoes, too. Here you go, little fellas. Looks like we're going to need another tomato plant, Weenie. One for the snails, and one for us. Let's go back to Bingettes. Hi, Bingette. Looking for something else for your garden? Yes. Oh, no problemo. Oh, a nice peanut plant. Actually, Binget, we came back for another tomato plant. Here's a good one. That would make two plants, which should grow enough tomatoes for both of us and the snails. <coughs> Thanks, Binget. Hey, don't mention it. <coughs> There. Now it's all finished. Let's go inside and let our tomatoes grow. Good night, little tomato plants. Wow! Two tomatoes! Two big, red, ripe, Juicy! Oh my gosh! How could two little snails eat two big tomatoes? <laughs> Look, Weenie. 
It's not just two. It's four. They must all love red, ripe, juicy tomatoes. Here you go, fellas. Looks like we're going to need even more tomato plants, girl. <sighs> Let's go back to Bingettes. <laughs> Hi, Binget. Oh, hiya, Oswald. I thought you might be back. Look at this. A very unusual jelly berry plant. Gee, Binget, we just came back for more tomato plants. Well, this is all I have left. One, two, three, four. We'll take them all. Now we should really have enough tomatoes. Oh, Thanks again, Binget. Well, I'm here to help. Now it's really finished. Let's go inside and let all of our tomatoes grow. Good night, little tomato plants. Wow, look at all of the tomatoes. And they're all red, ripe, and juicy. But I just wonder... Oh, my gosh! Weenie, look at these tomatoes! They're all half-eaten! It's a whole garden full of snails! That's it! I'm bringing all of these tomato plants into the house where they'll be safe. Come on, girl. all these tomatoes. And I know how we can do something nice for these snails. Okay, Weenie, let's get to work. It's finished. Four plants for the snails and two for us, weenie girl. Good evening. Tomato for two. Bon Appetit, right this way. This restaurant is all yours now. At last, a red, ripe, juicy tomato. One out. Gosh, honey, I can't wait to meet your cousin. Yes, sirree, Oswald. My cousin Louie is a great guy. You'll love him. Great Scott. It's 1230. 
Time for Cousin Louis' bath. Tell me about your cousin. Well, he sure can dance. I mean, penguin polka. Uh-huh. And he's got the best spoon collection in the whole world. Ne next to mine, of course. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yes. And uh, he likes fish. <laughs> Gee, Henry, he sounds just like you. What does he look like? Well, Oswald, we look nothing alike. Hello, Cousin Henry. Hello, Cousin Louie. Hello, I'm Oswald, and this is Weenie. It's a pleasure to meet you. Good, good. Hello. Time, Time for, for lunch. lunch. It's good to see you, Cousin Louie. Daisy, may I present my cousin, Louie? Glad to meet you, cousin Louie. Hello. Hey! Nice bow tie. Well, gotta roll. See you later, Daisy. This is a good place, Cousin Henry. Nice spoons. Henry and I come here all the time. It's our favorite place to eat. Good, good, very good. Hello, boys. Say, Henry, who's your friend? Madam Butterfly, may I present my cousin, Louie. Oh, hello, Cousin Louie. I'm pleased to meet you. Hello. Now, what can I get you? I'll have the blueberry blue plate special, please. And one for Weenie, too. What'll it be, boys? Fish sticks, well done, but not too well done, and a mackerel milkshake. Thick, but not too thick. <laughs> I'll be back in a jiffy. So, how's Aunt Antarctica? Good, very good. Take a look at my new house, Cousin Henry. Say, that's a beaut. Oh, can I see? It's very nice. Isn't it, Weenie? Here you go. Fish sticks, well done, but not too well done. And two mackerel milkshakes. Thick, but not too thick. Hmm. Just, Just the, the way I like them. Here you go. Enjoy. So, Cousin Louie, how do you like Big City so far? It's good. Very good. You know, Cousin Louie, Big City has the most... <sighs> so anyway, Cousin Louie, Big City has... Done. Ah. Delicious. Absolutely. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go to the playground. That's a good idea, Oswald. What do you say, Cousin Louie? Good, good. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks, Madam Butterfly. So, Cousin Louie, collect any good spoons lately? As a matter of fact, Cousin Henry, I have. Oh, really? You don't say. 
Just the other day, I bought myself a great big ladle. Ladle? Oh, my, my. I bet it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Whoops. Yeah, it's very shiny. Say, how about you, Cousin Henry? Well, I don't want to brag, but I just added four teaspoons to my collection. Four. Fancy that. You know, I have a collection of... Whoops! Hey, let's all ride the roundabout. Henry? Cousin Louie? Now I am up. 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 It's just no fun when you take away one and you're the one subtracted. Three minus two, the leftover is you. It's time to face the fact, kid. You're left out, and they don't even care. There's no doubt to them you're not even there. Hey, Oswald! Why so down? I thought we would all go on the roundabout together. I now I am up. Now I am up. But they're riding the seesaw by themselves. But there's only enough room for two, Oswald. It'll be your turn next. You think so? I diddly do. Enough seesawing. Time to get off. I've got a new poker record, Cousin Louie. Let's head over to my place and listen to it. That sounds very good, Cousin Henry. Come on, Oswald. <gasps> did Henry just call me? He sure did. See, it's your turn. Thanks, Daisy. I'll see you later. See ya. Oh, they're gone. Come on, Weenie. <sighs> I guess they left without us. Listen to this, Cousin Louie. I'm ready. Okay, Cousin Henry, I'm ready. On. Off. Hmm, something is wrong. Don't worry, I can fix it. On. Off. Well, I'm all out of ideas. What do you think we should do, Oswald? Oswald? Say, where's Oswald? I thought he was with you. I thought he was with you. Hey, that sounds like Oswald playing his piano upstairs. Say, he's good. Sure, he's quite the musician. Let's go and see what he's up to. Well, where have you been? We were looking for you. You were? Sure. I thought you were with him. And I thought you were with him. And I thought you were with him. And I thought you were with him. I, I thought you didn't want me around. What are you talking about, buddy boy? Of course we do. Cousin Henry told me that you were a really good piano player. He did? He said that you're a really good guy, too. Really? Well, of course, pal. Cousin Louie may be my cousin. But you're my best friend. Oh. Gee, thanks, Henry. Hey, 
Let's go down to your place and listen to your new polka record. Ah, oh, we can't, Oswald. My player won't play. Oh. Wait a minute. The Penguin Polka! Tonight's the night, Weenie. Henry's invited us to a sleepover at his house. Oh. I know it's your very first sleepover, Weenie, but don't worry. It's right downstairs. Mm -hmm. It's just like our apartment, but different. Oh. And Henry is our good friend. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey. Would you feel better if you brought your bone? That's better, isn't it? Come on. Let's go. Good evening. Oswald and Weenie. Welcome, Oswald, and welcome, Weenie, to your very first sleepover. <coughs> this is going to be the best sleepover ever. Time for dinner. What are we having, Henry? To celebrate Weenie's first sleepover, we're having my favorite Saturday night meal. Trout balls and spaghetti. Um, uh, that's not what Weenie and I have at home. We usually have egg foo yummy. But let's give it a try. Oh my gosh! Would you feel better if you had your special dinner bowl? Excuse me, Henry. Good evening. better, isn't it? Help yourself to a penguin feast, buddy boy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious, Henry. Just take a taste. I'm sure you're going to love it. That was great! Now Weenie and I can try something different for dinner. Time to watch TV. Oh, good! Come on, Weenie! <laughs> Yippee! We're just in time for Sammy Starfish. It's Sammy Starfish time. I'm right as penny. My good points are many. I'm top. Wait, wait. What's happening? I always watch Penguin Patrol. Weenie and I usually watch Sammy Starfish. 
But let's give it a try. On tonight's episode of Penguin Patrol, Officer Penguin catches up with a speeding dolphin. You've made quite a splash here, Mr. Dolphin. Sorry, officer. I didn't see that red buoy. Wow, what a great show. Weenie and I should have watched this before. That closes the book on another episode of Penguin Patrol. See you again next week. Same time, same iceberg. Seven o'clock. Time for the penguin polka. What's the penguin polka, Henry? It's the special dance I do every Saturday night. Well, that's not what Weenie and I do at home. I usually play the piano and Weenie sings along. Nonsense. It's polka time. Everybody dance. Watch carefully, Oswald. Wiggle your tail, flap your wing, stomp your feet, and you're in full swing. Let's all do the penguin polka. Hey! Wiggle your tail, flap your wing, stomp your feet, and you're in full swing. Let's all do the penguin. Time to go to bed. Oh my gosh. Would you feel better if you had your special bed? Excuse me, Henry. That's better, isn't it? Time to turn out the light! Alrighty, I just need to turn on a few night lights first. Good night, Henry. Good night, Oswald. Sweet dreams, Henry. Good night, Oswald. Don't let the bed bugs bite, Henry. Good night, Oswald. Nighty night, Henry. Good night, Oswald. Good night. Sure is bright in here.
was a great sleep. <laughs> Good morning, Oswald. Good morning, Henry. I think Weenie enjoyed her first sleepover. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Weenie. And here's something from your very first sleepover. It's piano music for the Penguin Polka. Oh, thank you, Henry. We had a great time. See you later. Goodbye, Henry. Good morning. <sighs> well, weenie girl, home again. What would you like to do today? Take a walk in the park? Go to Johnny's for a snow cone? Oh. Well, what then? Oh, you want to dance, do you? Have a great time at the beach, aren't we, girl? Hello, Oswald. Hello, Weenie. Hi, Henry. We're on our way to Big Beach. Want to come with us? Mm, uh, no, thanks. You don't? Why not? Because there's too much water at the beach, and I don't like it when my feathers get wet. But you don't have to go in the water, Henry. I don't? No. You could collect seashells or play volleyball. <laughs> or build a sandcastle. Or I could sit on the beach and read my newspaper. That's right. You can have a great time and you don't even have to get wet. All right, Oswald. Uh, I just have to bring a few things. That's swell. Winnie and I will wait for you outside. Come on, girl. <laughs> I can't wait to go swimming. How about you, girl? Hi, Steve. Hi, Andy. See you at the beach. I'm ready, Oswald. Okay, we're <laughs> off to the beach. Stop! I forgot something. Hi, Egbert. Hi, Leo. See you at the beach. I can't go to the beach without my umbrella. Okay, we're <laughs> off to the beach. Stop! I forgot something else. Oh... Hi, Buster. See you at the beach. I can't go to the beach without my penguin patrol raft. Well, what are we waiting for? We're here, Daisy. Hooray! Surf's up, beach buddies. We're off to the beach.
can't wait to go surfing and snorkeling and water skiing. yip ski Winnie and I are going swimming. Right, girl? <laughs> And I'm going to sit on the sand and read my newspaper. Golly to Molly, Henry. Aren't you going in the water? No, I don't want to get wet. Yow! The sand is hot. Ah. This is just fine. But we're so far from the water, Henry. That's the point, Oswald. If we get too close to the water, I might get wet. And I don't like it when my feathers get wet. Don't worry, Henry. You won't get wet. Come on, Henry. Well, all right. I, I guess we can move a little closer. This is a great spot. Hmm, I hope so. Here you go, girl. I'm going for a dippity doo. Henry, are you sure you don't want to go swimming? No, I don't want to get wet. Okay then, let's go, girl. Isn't this swell, Winnie? How do you manage to swim like that, Oswald? It's easy, Henry. Put one flipper over your head, and then the other, and pretend that you're a windmill. Hmm. This is rather easy. Now all you have to do is get in the water. Oh, no. I don't want to get wet. Yippee! I'm splashing with the passion. Look out, Daisy. You might splash Henry. I'm wet. I'm wet. Sorry, Henry. Henry doesn't like it when his feathers get wet. Hey, I can't splash Henry if I'm underwater. I'm going snorkeling. I'm sorry you got wet, Henry. That's all right, Oswald. But from now on, I'm just going to sit here and read my paper again. What do you want to do now, girl? Do you want to float? Let's go. Ah, isn't this well we How do you manage to float like that, Oswald? Oh, it's easy, Henry. All you have to do is lie on your back with your arms out. Hmm, this is rather easy. Now you just have to do it in the water. Oh, no, I don't want to get wet. scoop a doo doo Ah, a sea monster. Ah! No, Henry! It's only me, Daisy! Daisy? Yes, see? Uh, uh, I'm wet. Uh, I'm wet. Sorry. Again? Henry doesn't like it when his feathers get wet. Hey, I can't splash Henry if I'm out there surfing. Cowabunga! I'm sorry you got wet, Henry. That's all right, Oswald. But from now on, I'm going to sit here and read my paper again. Some of us are just not meant to be in the water. But you can still have a good time, Henry. You don't have to go in the water to have a great day at the beach. You can play in the sand, you can stay way in land. There's plenty of fun within reach. You can build a beautiful castle save all the seashells you get. 
There are frisbees to grab, take a stroll with a crab. You never, never, ever, ever even have to get wet. Oh my gosh! Look at Daisy go! Daisy, be careful! Don't worry, Oswald! I'm a super surfer! Yahoo! Hmm, I wonder how my stocks are doing. Henry, you're in the water. Right, Scott, I am in the water. <clears throat> I knew I could do it. Oh my gosh, Daisy's heading right for that island. Land ho! Oh. Jiminy Skimini, I'm stuck. Yahoo! We have to rescue Daisy, girl. Oh, but it's too far to swim. Wait a minute. I hope you don't mind, Henry. No, no. Welcome aboard. We're coming, Daisy! Hop in, Daisy. Roger, Dodger. Phew. Thanks, Oswald and Henry, for saving me. Oh, you too, Winnie girl. It was our pleasure, Daisy. I can't believe it. I finally went in the water, and I didn't even get wet. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Henry, are you all right? I'm fine, Oswald. You know, getting wet isn't so bad after all. Whoa! <laughs> Look out! Woo ah! This is swell, isn't it? It sure is. The camping trip. Look, Weenie, it's a beautiful day for our camping trip. Let's get ready. Oh, what should we pack? A nice tasty snack. A blanket in case there's a nip. A tent snug and strong and maybe a song. Oh, how I love a camping trip. What shall I do with the blanket? Good idea, Weenie! Hop to, hop to, we are campers through and through. Two, three, four, here we are on Henry's floor. Are you ready to go camping, Henry? Yeah, I don't know, Oswald. Looks like it might rain. It's not gonna rain. It's bright and sunny outside. Oh, sure. Now it is. But the weather can change quickly. Come on, Henry. We're going to pitch a tent and have a campfire and toast lots of marshmallows. Marshmallows, you say? Yum. Uh, just give me a few minutes to pack. Okay. Meet you outside. Hop, 
two, three, four. Let's go wait outside the door. Hey, Camperoonies! Ready for the best day ever? Ready. What's all this stuff, Henry? Just a few things in case it rains. I don't like it when my feathers get wet. <laughs> Golly tamale, it's not gonna rain. Maybe not, but I'm not taking any chances. Ready, campers? Let's march! Hot two, hot two. Camping's what we like to do. This looks like a fine spot to me. Here? We're barely even in the park. Exactly. Now, if it rains, we can get home in a jiffy. Could be rain in that cloud right there. It's too noisy here, Henry. We want to camp somewhere away from it all. Come on, I know the perfect spot. Hop two, hop two. Let's go somewhere that's brand new. It's a great place to camp, Daisy. But isn't that rather high? If it rains, every drop will hit us first. It's, it's not, not gonna, gonna rain, rain, Henry. Henry. <laughs> Henry, we're pitching the tent, and everybody pitches in. Just let me unpack my things first. Let's see. Umbrella, rain hat, swim trunks, goggles, hair dryer. Uh-oh. I think it's starting to... Rain. Rain? Rain? Did you say rain? Aha! Uh -huh. That's rain, all right. I think our camping trip is over. Let's pack and make tracks. I knew this stuff would come in handy. Mm? My poncho! <laughs> My umbrella! Ah! Uh. My rain hat. Under here. Quick. Hot two, two, three, three four. four. Let's go home. It's got a four. four. Thank you. 
I guess you were right about the rain, Henry. Oh, my poor feathers. Now we can't go camping. The best day ever is ruined. Wait a minute. We can set up camp right here in the living room. That's a super duper idea, Oswald. But we can't go camping indoors, Oswald. Sure we can. Hey, wait for me. This is perfecto, Oswald. Have a marshmallow? Sardines, anyone? Mm -hmm. no, no thanks. thanks. And here's our campfire. Now we can tell scary ghost stories. Ooh, what? There was a lawnmower. Nope, too scary. What if I sing a campfire song? That's a better idea. Oh, we tried to camp, and we got all damp. But we don't mind the drops that drip. Cause whether we roam or we stay at home, oh, how we love a camping trip. Yes, we love a camping trip. stopped. Anyone want to go back to the park? Not me! Not me. From now on, I'm only going to camp out inside. Oh, we tried to camp, and we got all damp. But we don't mind the drops that drip. Cause whether we roam or we stay at home, oh how we love a camping trip. Yes, we love a camping trip. I guess you never know. Sammy Starfish, saying so long. May your day be filled with surprises. I love surprises. Don't you, weenie girl? You never know what each day will bring. Come on, girl. Let's not keep Henry waiting. Each brand new day is a very special treat. What wonders await us? Which friends shall we meet? What roads will we travel? Which foods might we eat? I guess you never know. I guess you never know. Ah, Oswald, there you are. Sorry, Henry. We were watching the... Sammy Starfish Show. So, what would you like to do today? The same thing I do every Monday. Lunch at the diner. A Monday is a Monday, and that's the way I like it. But every day is different, Henry. You never know what can happen. Right, Weenie? Shall we go? Sure. After 
are you? Thanks, pal. Hi, boys. Hi, weenie. Where would you like to sit? My usual booth, please. Just like always. So, what can I get you? It's Monday. I always have fish sticks on Monday. Always. And how about you, Oswald? Hmm. Everything looks so good. I can't decide. Why don't you have the Monday mystery lunch? Okay. The Monday mystery lunch it is. And bring Weenie a small order, too. You got it. Oswald, what's the mystery in the Monday mystery lunch? That's just it. It's a mystery. You mean you don't know what you'll get? It'll be a surprise. Here you go, Henry. Fish sticks. Ah, just like always. And here's your meal, Oswald. The Monday Mystery Lunch. Wow! Madam Butterfly, you outdid yourself. Oh, thank you. Here's yours, weenie girl. Mmm, delicious. Enjoy. This is the tastiest lunch I have ever had, Henry. Yep, I guess you never know. Boy, that was good. Wasn't it, Weenie Girl? How were your fish sticks, Henry? Just like always. Just the way I like them. So, what do you want to do now? After I eat lunch, I always have a snow cone. Always. Let's go then. Thanks, Thanks Madam, Madam Butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> Excuse me. I usually go first, Oswald Buddy. Oh, pardon me. The usual, Henry? That's right. One scoop of sardine sorbet, please. Just like always. Coming right up. Ah, just like always. Next! Yes, please. I would like to order a... Whoa! Hey! What's going on? Congratulations, Oswald! You are our 123rd customer! <laughs> I am? That's right. And that means you win a free Super Jumbo Snow Cone! A free Super Jumbo Snow Cone? Hmm. Wow! I guess... You never know! This has certainly been an exciting day so far. Let's go to the park and relax. Just like always. Same old bench, same old squirrels, same old giant bowl of spaghetti. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at that. 
It's the annual Noodle Day Parade. Let's go see. I wouldn't go over there if I were you, Oswald Pal. You might slip on a noodle or trip over some macaroni. Uh-oh. <gasps> Look out. Help. Help. Our balloon is getting away. Hey, look at that. Where are you going? To catch that runaway balloon. Gotcha. <laughs> Fellas, thank you, Oswald. As a reward, we would like to name you King Noodle. Huh? Me? King Noodle? I would be most honored. I hereby pronounce Oswald the Octopus King Noodle. And for helping, I give Weenie Girl the title of official pasta pooch. Three cheers for Oswald and Weenie! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Oswald, this has been the best Noodle Day Parade ever. How did it feel to be named King Noodle? I was honored and very, very surprised. I guess you never know. Wow. My day was certainly full of surprises. Not mine, and that's the way I like it, just like always. Well, have a good evening, old chum. So long, weenie. See you, Henry. <sighs> Home, just like always. Surprise! Huh? Happy birthday! Surprise, Henry! But, but, but my birthday is eight days away. That's what makes it such a surprise. Now go on and have some fun. Make a wish and blow out the candles, Henry. Yes, yes, make a wish. Even though it's not like always? Uh-huh. You were right, Oswald. I guess you never know. Hi there. It's me, Face. And that's all the time we have for Nick Jr. So, I'll see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs>
Oh, my God.